Hi all, I recently bought myself a Kurt Cobain Fender Jaguar and because I'm a massive Nirvana fan I wanted to post every song off In Utero, my favourite Nirvana album, on my channel. But I have a Line 6 Helix and I had real trouble trying to find videos and information on how to match Kurt's tone from that album. So I thought I would make my own video to show you how I created that tone. Now, I'm assuming you're a Nirvana fan, although you wouldn't be on here watching this, and I'm assuming you're a guitar player, so you know a few things. Uh, but uh, Kurt used a Fender Twin reverb amp for that album, and he used a Tech 21 Sans amp for the distortion tone. Luckily, the Line 6 Helix has both of those, so I dialed them in, fiddled a little bit, and got a pretty decent tone. For the distorted tone, which uses the Sans amp, you get this sound. Let me just get that right. Yes, yeah, this. And for the clean tone, which is just basically the Fender Twin Reverb, you'll get this. And I also dialed in a tone that uses a poly chorus. Now, the Nirvana Tab Book tells you it's a Rotovive pedal, but a bit of research will tell you that Kurt used a poly chorus for the chorus, uh, sorry, not for the chorus, ha, for the guitar solo in Heart Shape Box and for the intro for Radio Friendly Unishifter. So I get this tone once I've dialed that in. This is using the Tech One Sans Amp, the Fender Reverb, the Poly Chorus, and the Boss Distortion that Kurt's famous for. So you get this, this, uh, that tone. That's used on the chorus. I didn't play that very well, but that's used on the solo for Heart Shape Box and the intro for Radio Friendly Unishifter. I will give you a close up of the settings I use so you get a decent idea. But if you have a Line 6 Helix and you want to get closer to Kurt's tone, this is a pretty good starting point for you. It's not perfect, I'm you know, not going to claim that in any way. But it's what I used and I think it worked really well for all the songs that I put on my channel. Uh, depending on when you're watching this video, they should be up already or they're on their way to getting up. Please check them out. I hope you like them. Um, please like, uh, like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that. There'll be other Nirvana albums in full coming. I'm going to try and do Nevermind, Incesticide Bleach and Nirvana Unplugged. So, and I'm going to try and do all the B-sides as well, but it depends you know, how much time I have. Anyway, babbling on. Hope you enjoy. Hope these help. Thanks for watching. So as discussed, these are the settings used on my Line 6 Helix to get the tone for Neutro for all the covers that I posted on my channel. This is the clean tone that I used. It's basically just a Fender Twin Reverb, nothing else, nothing added at all, no compression or anything like that. You can see there the settings I used, and that gives you the clean tone for all apologies, penny roll T, dumb, etc. The next one, I'll just flick that over, and it will show you the Sans Amp settings that I use for distortion. It's called Zero Amp Base DI in the Line 6 Helix. And you can see the settings there that I used. Finally, the polychorus tones that I used are here. That's for the solo for Heart Shape Box and for the intro for Radio Friendly Unit Shifter. And I also use Kurt's classic boss distortion tone, which is called the D's One Vintage on the Line 6. And you can see the settings there. So basic, three basic settings three snapshots that gave me all of the sounds I needed for Inutro. I hope that helps if you're planning to cover some yourself, if you're in a cover band or just want to do some videos for YouTube. This is a good starting point. Thanks for watching and as always, please like and subscribe.